Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important problem from differential calculus and here uh, we have the problem uh, to test whether this function f of x is equal to greatest integer of x minus 1 whole square is differentiable at x is equal to 1, right? So here we have to test whether this function is differentiable at x is equal to 1 right so uh, before uh, uh, solving this problem let us first quickly uh, take up the definition of differentiability of a function now suppose we have a function say y is equal to f of x right and this uh, function is defined in some domain d and uh, suppose uh, x is equal to a is a point uh, in the domain right and we have to uh, test whether this function is differentiable or not at x is equal to a then what we do uh, we find the right hand derivative right and uh, we find the left hand derivative right so right hand derivative and left hand derivative are simply limits and we have to find the uh, limits uh, which is called uh, right hand derivative and the other limit is called the left hand derivative and we see uh, whether uh, these two limits exist or not right if the two limits exist and they are finite and equal then we say that the function is differentiable at x is equal to a right so if the right hand derivative at x is equal to a is uh, it exists and finite and it is equal to the left hand derivative at x is equal to a and uh, here left hand derivative also exists and finite and if both the uh, limits are equal then we say that uh, this function is differentiable at x is equal to a right and we uh, then write f prime of a okay so now uh, using this concept we will see uh, whether the uh, derivative of this function at x is equal to 1 it exists or not right so the right hand derivative is uh, defined uh, by this limit that is limit uh, h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h right so this is the uh, definition of right hand derivative and here uh, x is uh, uh, equal to 1 so we'll write limit h tends to 0 f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 divided by h right and similarly we can define the uh, left hand derivative the left hand derivative is defined by this limit that is limit h tends to 0 then we have f of x minus h minus f of x divided by minus h right so this is the uh, left hand derivative and this is the right hand derivative right so here uh, if we take x is equal to 1 then this limit takes the form uh, limit h tends to 0 f of 1 minus h minus f of 1 divided by minus h right so uh, let us uh, first calculate this limit and then we will calculate this limit right so now uh, here limit h tends to 0 f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 divided by h right so f of 1 plus h can be calculated by uh, taking x is equal to 1 plus h in this uh, uh, function so we have uh, limit h tends to 0 and we have greatest integer of 1 plus h minus 1, uh, minus one. Uh, here 1 plus h uh, will be taken for x and uh, here we have the square minus f of 1 is greatest integer of 1 minus 1 square right and we have h right so now uh, we can uh, write this limit as uh, uh, limit h tends to 0 here 1 and 1 get cancelled we are left with simply uh, greatest integer of h square and here we have greatest integer of 0 square divided by h right okay 
now here uh, we know that the greatest integer of 0 is simply 0 right and for greatest integer of uh, h uh, we can write uh, this greatest integer of uh, h uh, by uh, making use of the um, uh, inequality that is h is greater than 0 but less than uh, 1 right so h lies between 0 and 1 and h is a very very small quantity right so always remember h is a very very small quantity but it is greater than 0 right and less than 1 so h lies between 0 and 1 so the greatest integer of h uh, should be equal to 0 right so now uh, limit h tends to 0 and uh, here we can write 0 so 0 square and here we have uh, also 0 square divided by h so this limit uh, is equal to 0 right so the right hand derivative of this function at x is equal to 1 is equal to 0 or in other words we can say that uh, f prime of 1 is equal to uh, 0 uh, if we take uh, here the positive uh, sign right so the positive sign indicates that uh, the right hand derivative so here we can write f positive prime of 1 is equal to 0. So now uh, let us uh, find out the left hand derivative. So now uh, the left hand derivative is uh, equal to a limit h tends to 0 and we have f of 1 minus h right. So f of 1 minus h can be computed by taking x is equal to 1 minus h in this function. So we have 1 minus h, then we have minus 1 square minus uh, f of 1 is 1 minus 1 square, right? And in the denominator, we have minus h, right? So now uh, let us uh, simplify it. So we have here 1 and minus 1 get cancelled. We have minus h, greatest integer of minus h square minus this is 0 square. 0 greatest integer of 0 square so this is simply 0 divided by minus h right okay so now uh, here we have to uh, assign uh, value to greatest integer of minus h right so what we will do uh, as we have just discussed that h lies between 0 and 1 right and h is a very small quantity it is a positive quantity so what we will do, I uh, will uh, multiply this inequality by minus 1. So what we will get, c 0, the uh, direction of the inequality get reversed here. So we have minus h, here we have minus 1. So now uh, we can write uh, minus h greater than minus 1, but less than 0, right? So minus h, it lies between minus 1 and 0, right? So the greatest integer of minus h must be equal to minus 1, right? So now we can write limit h tends to 0. Greatest integer of minus h is equal to minus 1. So here we have minus 1 square divided by minus h, right? So now we have limit h tends to 0. Minus 1 square is uh, positive 1. So we have 1 over minus h. And this is, uh, we can take negative sign outside this uh, uh, limit sign. So we have limit h tends to 0, 1 over h, right? So now uh, we see that this limit uh, does not exist or it is infinite, right? So here the left hand derivative uh, does not exist because uh, this limit uh, that is the limit h tends to 0 over 1 over h it tends to uh, infinity right and uh, uh, that's why uh, this uh, left hand derivative it does not exist at x is equal to 1 right so we arrive at, at the conclusion that the right hand derivative is equal to 0 it is uh, a finite quantity and it does exist but the left hand derivative that is 
uh, f prime here we can take the negative sign and here we have one so this does not exist right so we see that the uh, derivative of this function at x is equal to 1 it does not exist because these two quantities are not equal right so uh, this is how uh, we uh, prove the differentiability of this function at x is equal to 1.